it's so beautiful outside this morning. I just called Buck and he just came. Good morning, my big boy. Oh, you're so beautiful, Buck. Oh, I miss Betty's right behind him. Right there. I didn't even know that she was right behind him. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah, Buck. Yeah. Come here, my beautiful boy. What do you see? Somebody's gotta be down the road. Somebody walking, Buck. What do you see? All I see from here is the cars. And I hear a squirrel or something. Yeah. Yeah, Buck, you want peanuts? Look what I have. Something has got his attention. Yeah. You want peanuts? You want peanuts? Look. I got peanuts. It's your favorite. The mixed ones. I got him the mixed ones. He loves these. You want some? Yeah. It's good. He loves the mixed peanuts. That's why I got it for him again. Because I, I noticed the mixed ones are more pricier than the plain ones, which I understand because, like, you know, it's a whole bunch of different nuts. But so I try to get it for him as much as I could, but sometimes they're pricey in, in the supermarkets, you know? I try to charge you, like, too much for a small jar, and I'm like, uh uh. But when I get them on sale, then I'm like, okay. I'll throw the rest on a full box so you can eat them. So I'm going to fling some apples now towards Betty's way once I find out which way she's coming from. I don't see her where she go. I'm trying to spot Betty so I could throw her some apples. Where she go? I see Alvin. Hi, Alvin. Oh, and there's a bee or something flying around me. Where did Miss Betty go? I don't see her. Oh my god, look at the chipmunk eating with him. So cute. Will you more your peanuts before he eats it off? Okay, she's coming, I think. Where is she? I hear it. I hear her walking, but I don't see her anymore. She was right below the hill. Oh, I see her. I see her now, guys. She's on that side. She's right below the hill, right there. Let me throw her some apples. It's okay. It's okay, Buck. It was me. It was me. I threw it. It's okay. That was me. And the noise you hear over there, those are the squirrels. They're jumping all over the trees. You eat peanuts? Yep, you ate all the good ones. He left the ones that he wasn't crazy about, the regular ones. But he ate all the almonds and all the good ones, right? Oh, he went back down. He's probably like, let me clean this up before the little chipmunk comes back. Because that little chipmunk will clean up everything. See? He's coming back. He already went back home probably to empty everything out. And now look, he's going to fill up his cheeks again. <laughs> Oh, good. She found the apples that I threw. Oh, she's licking herself. She's coming up. She's probably like, let me get closer this time so I could get some. She's coming. The pretty girl's coming up. And Buck knows that she's coming closer probably. And he's like trying to get all the apples. He likes something else. Hi, right, my big boy. Let's share. Let's share, Buck. You have to share. Give me a good boy and share, okay? You share your apples. I know you used to getting all the apples to yourself, but now we gotta like split the apples. So both of you get enough apples. Here, I'm giving you two pieces. Let me throw a few pieces to her now. Where is she? Over there. All right, I threw a few to her now, but that should hold her off for a while while I feed you. And she's coming up, she's right behind, coming up slowly. She's finding the apples that I'm throwing. I see her chewing. There you go. 
I know you wanted that second slice. Buck is like, all right, give me that slice. That second slice. Yeah. Are you so excited? All right, let me throw some more to your girlfriend. Or right, I'll give you one more, and then let me throw some to your girlfriend. Get this one. Wait, let me throw this one over there so she gets it. I want her to have some. She's looking herself and she's coming up. Okay. Eventually, I'll be feeding your girlfriend by hand too. Let's see. One day. One day, maybe she'll come up and get... At least she's eating over there. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not walking over to the corn bucket. Like yesterday. It's like he had his head on the C-O-R-N the whole time while I was feeding the apples and then he went over there. All right, let me throw her two more apples. You stay buck, stay here. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, I hope I didn't get her face. No, I didn't. Yeah, there's a big piece. And I'll give the rest to you, okay? Because I gave her a lot too. She has a lot of slices over there. She has to find them. They're nice and refreshing. These apples are nice and cold right now. So I'm sure buck and her are probably like, mm. They're so refreshing. They're so refreshing, my big boy. You're hungry this morning. Yesterday for dinner, you left so many apples behind, Buck. I got to look in the trail cam when I'm done with this video to see if he, they came back to eat the apples that I left behind for them. Right? Well, that you left behind, Buck. Okay. Amor, I love you. I love you, my big boy. Yeah. Yeah, you want to smell me? You can smell me. Oh, oh, his face feels so warm. It feels so warm. You're like a radiator. You're like a radiator, my big boy. I love you. Oh, I love you, Buck. Yeah, you, my baby. I love you, my big boy. You don't know how much I love you. You want to see the plate? Oh, wait, back look. Yeah. Yeah. You're a little one. Eat the crumbs. You gotta eat the crumbs too, my big boy. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Right? You're so beautiful. I know. Yeah. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Oh, I love you. This, in the morning, he usually never lets me pet him like this. I'm shocked. Usually it's dinner time, guys. You know that. It's always for dinner time. In the morning, he's usually on high alert. Oh, my baby. I want to hug you, Buck, and squeeze you, but you won't let me. One day. <laughs> One day I'll be able to hug him. Right now, listen. Honestly, I'm happy with even just that. You know? That he makes me do that. That makes me on cloud nine. Why did she run down for? She got scared. I think it was when he got closer, maybe. I don't know. Buck, you don't want corn? You got corn in your bucket, baby. You got corn, because bucket was empty before. Here. Oh, she hears the corn. Here. Here, Buck, where your corn? Oh, she heard the corn, the way she turned her head. Pretty girl, I'll leave soon, baby, okay? I'm gonna hang out with Buck a little bit longer and then I'll leave. And then you could come up and eat. Cause I know she only comes up to eat when I'm not here or when I walk away. That's what I've noticed looking at the trail cam. Like once I leave or when, you know, nobody's here at the spot, that's when she comes up. Now she went back over there. A little bit, she's like right down that area right now. Let's see how he is. Oh, my big boy. He's so happy this morning. I have a feeling Buck made me pet him like that because I've been giving him his favorite peanuts. This morning he had his favorite peanuts and he was probably like, Mom, thank you so much. I've been wanting these peanuts. Like, I haven't had them in a while now. Like, you've been giving me plain peanuts. Now you gave me my favorite mixed peanuts and he's probably like, all right, you know what? I'm going to let you pet me today. Right, Buck? I think that's what happened. All pretty girls coming back up. Come on, buddy. Yesterday, she went to the corn bucket. I forgot to tell you guys. I don't remember if it was for dinner. I have to watch the video because I'm getting confused myself. I don't remember if it was... I think it was dinner. Yeah, it was dinner. The dinner video. 
right after I made the dinner video, she walked up to the corn bucket. No, not the dinner video, the breakfast. Because for dinner, I just remembered. For the dinner video, he left to go find her. It was breakfast video. My bad. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. Yeah, yesterday's breakfast video. Because I remember she came with him. For dinner, she didn't pop up until like after, way after he was done eating. Good boy. Okay. I just had to water that, guys. <laughs> Put the rest of the water in that little bush. Okay, now I'm just going to sit here to make her understand. He went back. Oh, he's drinking water? No, he's eating the corn again. <laughs> Big boy is hungry this morning. Yeah, because remember yesterday for dinner, he ran away looking for her. <laughs> and today they pop up together. They're both so cute. I'm so happy for him. I am truly, truly so happy for him. I like, you don't understand now. I feel so relieved to know that he's not alone no more. Because he was alone in this forest for three years, guys. Like, you know, I never seen no other deers come in here. Like females. Only bucks for some reason. This forest attracts. <laughs> Only the bucks. Literally, because it was only Buck and another Buck before Buck that came here. So she's the first female that I've spotted in here. And I'm excited because now he has, like, you know, one of his kind to hang out with besides me and the squirrels and the bunnies and the birds. But I'm happy because now he's, like, comfortable to even walk next to the chickmunks, the squirrels, the birds. Because he used to jump every time they used to, like, come next to him or fly next to him. Like, he used to jump. He don't do that no more now. He's, like, so calm around them. So I'm happy. Buck is thriving. I know he's thriving. I could feel it. Every day. He's doing really, really good. And his antlers is growing. Oh, and guys, guess what? Look at this. No ticks. Look at that. The last time I sprayed him was last week. Yeah, one time last week I sprayed him or twice, something like that. So no ticks. He looks really, really good. He's been doing great, thank God, with that. I don't want to jinx it. I should knock on wood, but I don't want to scare her if I go and knock on wood, you know? So somebody knock on wood for me. <laughs> well, cross your fingers. Let's hope he doesn't get any. But Buck is doing great. All right, now I'll keep the camera on this girl for a little bit because she's coming up, slowly coming up. I'm staring at Buck right now, but I have the camera on her. I'm trying to show her that I'm not looking, maybe. Oh, I see her looking, giving me eye contact. Hi, pretty girl. He's so cute. She's coming, guys. She's probably gonna come to the corn bucket now. Oh, did she find apples? Would the buck eat them all? No, come on, there's more apples, baby girl. Eat them. Hurry up and eat them before this big boy eats them. <laughs> and he had enough apples. I gave him enough. So now whatever apples are there, I want her to eat. Oh, she left the slice. How come? I see a slice right now. And she left it. She's probably trying to find the other apples. Oh, yeah, she found it. Now she wants the corn, guys. Look, her eyes are on the corn. She's coming. Not slow, low. That's what I meant. I gotta talk low. I'm sorry. I gotta whisper. If I talk too loud, she gets scared. So this is why I'm whispering. Because if I'm too loud, or if I make two sign movements, she will run. This is the close. She'll go by the corn bucket now while I'm standing here. She's so cute. She's looking. Oh, Buck, please don't bully her. Don't scare her. Please don't scare her. Be a good boy. And I don't want to, like, yell at him to be like, no, don't do that. Or, don't go by her. Or, don't. I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I'm just going to let nature, like, let them do, like, let them do their own talking. Like, I'm sure if she don't want him too close she's gonna let him know 
So I don't want to intervene, you know? With them, like, socializing. Because my husband watched, I showed my husband the video when she first, first. Like, you know when he first brought her, remember? And he was, like, chasing her away, like, when she was trying to come close that time. And I yelled at him. I was like, fuck, no. Don't go there. Don't do that. My husband's like, don't do that. Because he might be, like, running to her that time. Like, you know, with excitement. He was like, and you're thinking that she's, he was charging at her. I was like, I was. That day, I really did think that. Oh, she didn't eat the bread. Because I haven't, I threw some bread on the floor. I was hoping that she would eat some too. Because I feel like she needs to put a little bit of weight on. I feel like she's a little too skinny. She looks perfect to me. But she just needs to put a little bit more weight. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. She's peeking. Good boy. You want me to hold the tree for you? What are you doing? You'll be nosy. Yeah, guys, we keep these here. We, there's actually nothing in the boxes. My husband usually has to put the stuff in the boxes. But we keep those here because a while, while back, a while back, we started getting rats when I bought, I don't know if it was a mineral block, a salt block. I bought something for him. It was like a big block. And we had put it over there, like into the, you know, on Buckside. And that thing brought rats. Like, now I haven't seen any rats anymore, thank God. Like, we really, we haven't seen it. It's been a while. I don't want to jinx it, but it's been a while. We haven't seen none ever since we put these boxes, thingies here. And we did on purpose. We put on our side, not close, like, you know. And the good thing is, even if Buck comes on our side, he never really walks over here. So he would never touch those boxes or mess with them. I don't have to worry about them getting into that, you know? Where is she going? Oh, they hear people. I hear people too. I don't think there's people inside there. I don't know why she's leaving. Those are the squirrels making noise in the forest, and it's so funny. These deers, they think it's like people walking in there. I told you guys nobody's gonna come into your homes and bother you nobody walks in here these forests is here by my house no people go in here and start walking here because we have parks we have big parks for us to take walks and go hiking around the neighborhood here so nobody's gonna go in here and bother any animals you know so that's why i always tell everybody buck is in the most safest area he could ever be especially this one too you too pretty girl break up the rest of the spread hang out with buck a little longer and i will be back later for dinner time but this was such a great video i'm happy i mean this morning was such an exciting morning i'm so excited that he made me pet him and he was like showing me so much love i really do think that buck was thanking me for the peanuts i really do think so <laughs> but i'm excited i'm happy he came he ate and he showed me extra love which made me so happy This is why I say she needs to gain a little weight, watch. You see? I can see her ribs, my poor baby. Go eat, baby. Go eat corn. She's so little. And this one, you're a big boy because you've been with me for almost four years, Buck. It's going to be four years in December you've been with me. If Betty hangs out with us too and stays with us for a long time, she'll get healthy and very, like her hair will get nice and shiny. All right, guys, I'm going to go. This was a long video. I didn't even tend to. I didn't think I was going to make a long video like this. They hung out, right? They didn't both eat and leave. I'm so excited. Usually, once I'm done that you see Buck and the videos leave and I close the video, I end up leaving too. So how as long as like, you know, how long I the video is, that's how long I hung out with him. So today, this morning, he made me hang out with him. Wow, we're probably going to hang out for like a half hour probably after I close this video. Hopefully he doesn't leave. We'll see. I don't know. But I'll be back later for his dinner video. It's a beautiful day. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Ciao for now. I'll be back later.